Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I've been playing a game called SCP-847. If you want to find out more about the game and the SCP that it's based on, the links and the details are down below in the description. It might help to have a working knowledge of the SCP people playing or watching this game. But generally speaking, I think one of two things are going to happen in this. Either I'm going to meet with a mannequin that's very flirtatious, or one that's extremely hostile. And since it's a horror game, I'm thinking it might be the latter. But let's find out, shall we? Let's play the game. Hope you enjoy it. And here we are, in some sort of clothes shop by the looks of it. With plenty of mannequins around. Which one of you do I need to keep an eye on? Probably you, the pianist, playing tubular bells over here. Looks like I came prepared though, I brought myself a flashlight. Yeah, more mannequins over here, and over there. Maybe I should just try the door and just try to leave. Oh, there's no handle, there's no doorknob. I can't get out of here. But at least I tried, right? Okay, onwards and upwards. Where are we going? That way, to the door. Looks like we got some fairly posh Chanel mannequins over here. Is it going to be one of you two lovely ladies? Hmm. So yeah, 847 is a female mannequin with extreme envy and jealousy issues. If I'm playing as a man, she's probably going to be very flirtatious, provocative. It's going to be a pretty positive experience for me. But if I'm playing as a woman, then she's going to be extremely hostile, aggressive. It's going to be a very negative experience. And uh, yeah, it's a horror game, so... Chances are, I'm playing as a woman. Okay, I can try this door, but I can't get through. This way it is then. Okay, this basement has a swimming pool! <laughs> I can just about see a doorway over there, but it's more or less completely submerged. Weird. And it looks like I don't want to go wading down there either. Right, let's just stay in the dry. Let's go this way, shall we? Yeah, it's an interesting SCP. It's actually one of my favourites, and I don't think I've played a game based on it before. So yeah, this is uh, this is kind of refreshing, actually. I hope it's a good one. This is a big basement. Okay, we've got some more mannequins down here. Maybe it's one of you. Yeah, some spares, some extras down here. Okay. Can we start this up? No. Maybe I could use one of you guys. I think it might be that one. I don't know why. Okay, there must be a reason I came down here, right? Ah, there is. Ah, it's a key! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I was not ready for that! That was really loud! It sounded like one of them came to life and ran off, but I don't think anyone's missing, right? Was that just a sound effect? Uh, it spooked me all the same, I suppose. Anyway, we got a key. We got a key. So, is it going to be for the door in the shop itself? Or is it going to be for the door that's kind of like straight ahead of me down on the basement floor? Let's find out. Yeah, I'm hoping this is a good one. Is it just the water I'm hearing? Yeah, it's just the water I'm hearing. Okay, let's try this one first. Ah, there you go. Ah, maybe the valve, right? Maybe I can drain the water? No? Nope, that doesn't seem to work. There's another one up here. That doesn't seem to work either. Okay. This? Ah! Right. I was under the impression that there'd only be one mannequin. It sounds like there's quite a few. Right. Now, I might have to go back to the generator. I think that was essentially a fuel can, wasn't it? I keep hearing strange noises, and I'm not talking about the, you know, the, the whimpering, the whining, the crying and stuff like that. It's like I'm hearing an extra set of footsteps every now and then. They might be my own. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but... Yeah. Right. Can we? Yes, we can. Okay. I'm just gonna stand here. Ah! Alright, it's working! Hmm. I'm very suspicious of you guys. All of you. 
I don't know what I'm doing here, to be honest. Do I work for the Foundation? Am I trying to, you know, contain this thing? Am I a security guard? Am I just in the wrong place at the wrong time? Alright, let's see. Okay, well, I can see that it's a very deep room, actually. Still can't go down there. Uh, it really feels like it should be the valve. I'll try the valve again. Maybe I needed the generator on. Oh, now it's working! Ah, there you go. Yeah. Alright. Ooh. Hi. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Hey there. Hello, kitty. Nice. Yeah, so there's some, like, horrible substance. Oh, fuck. Some horrible noises, too. Yeah, horrible substance coming out of her eyes. It's uh, extremely corrosive. Alright. I really should just get the fuck out of here, shouldn't I? And yet, I'm curious. Let's go down here now. Eh, so far this is pretty good. Quite basic, but, you know, it's making me a little bit uneasy. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, I think that's her. Is she... Yeah, standing in front of a mirror. I think that's generally what she does when there's no one around her. She just sort of checks out her appearance, wearing what she wants. What's up with these imprisoned mannequins? Hmm, okay. Alright, there's a symbol on the wall over here. There's one back there as well, actually. Oh, hang on. We've got a chart over here. Okay. Another one? What's in this box? Can I open this? Do I need to find a lever? Huh. Alright. Ah, look at this. There you go. Oh, okay, so the symbols mean letters and the letters seem to mean numbers, so it's A, B, D, A, T, B. Yeah, it's the same sort of layout. Okay. There's something funky with this door, right? Is that a keypad? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Christ. Okay, this is going to be quite a long code by the looks of it. Um, yeah, and it's not that either. Okay. All right. Um, well, it's got something to do with these symbols, right? So what's that one, for instance? That is... K, I believe? So K is 8. So that's going to be part of the combination. Then we got the other symbols as well. Okay. Did I miss another symbol out here in the corridor, I wonder? Wasn't really looking for anything. I don't think so. Um, okay, alright. What order do they go in? Does it matter? It probably does, right? Alright. And then we've got this one over here. So that's a cog above... Okay, yeah, right, that's the top right one, that's ZX, which is 17, so there's 8, there's 17. There's one back here. Alright, it's like a wave rushing over a cog or something like that. Um, NF? It looks very similar to NF, which would be... 92. So there's 8, 92, and 17. How many digits was this? Hang on. Might be easier if I turn that off so I can actually see. Ah, I can see all the numbers. 7. So we're missing, we're missing two digits. So there's another symbol around here somewhere. Is it this? Ah, but it could be this. Yeah, it's this, I think. So that would be... Is that EE? E? Yeah, I think. So. Oh no, uh, well, it could be EE e or AA. One's horizontal, one's vertical. Um, I'm going to I'm going to assume that's AA. And AA would be 11. So 8, 92, 17 and 11. In which order? I have absolutely no idea. Hey! It worked! Okay, awesome! Alright.
See, what was that? Was that my footstep? Because I don't think it was. That sounded... That sounded a little bit louder. Like someone was following me. Right. To the left? No. Okay. To the left again? No. Okay. Well, fine. I didn't want to go in there anyway. Let's just try this one. Ooh. Ah. You want me to go this way, do you? Hmm. Okay. You hear that? You hear what I mean? Just the occasional knock or bump. Someone's lurking around here. Someone's just... Oh, jeez! Whoa! Okay. Really was not expecting that. Oh, boy. Yep. Okay. Is that it? No, it's not. Okay. What the fuck? Well, wherever I am, I've still got my flashlight. <laughs> is this the area between life and death? What is this? This is me going into the light, I think. <laughs> I don't know if this was in the SCP. Uh, yeah? Uh, okay, we got some dialogue options here. Could, uh, could you tell me what you are? Ah, oh, you know. Okay. Hey, <laughs> could you be more specific? I am a teacher. I am a purveyor of knowledge. I shall enlighten you. Okay. And how exactly do you do that? I teach them. Uh huh. All right. And what do you teach? I teach all that I have learned. Okay. So are you going to teach me or? Could you explain what you mean by that? These sounds you use are limited. I may only enlighten you directly. Okay, okay. I don't wish to do that at the moment. Can I ask you some more questions? I provide answers. Alright, maybe this is the being that kind of controls SCP-847. I'm not actually sure. Um, will enlightenment lead to my death? Ah, okay. Well, nevertheless, I, I don't want that consequence. Yeah, can you maybe teach me through talking to me? I wish to enlighten you. If you do not wish to be enlightened, I have no use for you. Well, I don't want to die, so... Oh. Okay, hang on. Oh, and I'm back. I might be beaten, battered, and bruised, but I'm back. I didn't die. Right. What the hell is this? Okay, um... Oh boy. I can barely move, I'm sort of limping. Yeah, she, uh, she really did a number on me. Oh? Oh, I see, yeah, this is, uh, the shop, isn't it? Oh. But I'm turning into a mannequin. So yeah, she was attacking me with a motive. She had a reason. The idea is that that resin that was coming out of her eyes, that corrosive stuff, is going to get into my open wounds and cause me to turn into a mannequin a little bit like her. It's going to cause this weird plastination effect. And when I'm fully like her, when I'm made of porcelain or the porcelain-like substance that she's made of, she's going to harvest my body for parts. She's going to take the best bits of me, whether it be an arm, a leg, maybe the head, and then she's going to use those parts on herself to make herself look more attractive to the next man that comes by. And then I suppose the rest of my body is going to get put in that cell with the other mannequins. That's just clicked. They were old victims, weren't they? Man. But yeah, SCP-847. Overall, I thought that was all right. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more, quite honestly, and maybe I'm a little bit underwhelmed. I was hoping it was going to go on a little bit longer. There'd be a bit more of a back and forth between the mannequin and I, and maybe there'd be a couple more puzzles or a couple more scares, but there were some creepy moments, some decent sound effects, and a couple of good jumps, I suppose. Um, meeting the teacher was a nice bonus. And yeah, it's a game about SCP-847. Hopefully it's not the last. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.
There's no handle. There's no doorknob. I can't get out of here. But at least I tried, right? Okay, this basement has a swimming pool. <laughs> ah, it's a key. <laughs> whoa, whoa. All right. Ooh. Hi. Oh, fuck. Ooh. See? What was that? Was that my footstep? Because I don't think it was. To the left again? No? Okay. Well, fine. I didn't want to go in there anyway. Let's just try this one. Ooh. Someone's lurking around here. Someone's just... Oh, jeez! Whoa! Is that it? No, it's not. Oh. But I'm turning into a mannequin. 